Hey, it's Neil here again from Record Blog Face doing another tutorial on how to build a Prussia Mendel. Um, this is how to integrate your Y stage into your Y stage platform or what replaces the um, squished frog onto the Mendel. Um, what you're going to need for this part of the Y assembly, this one I'm going to have to split into two parts because uh, we need glue to dry. Um, you're going to need your um, bottom plate, which you cut to 140 millimeters this way and 225 millimeters this way. You're going to need your two um, 406 smooth rods. You're going to need whatever bushings you're using. Um, most people will probably be using the PLA bushings, but since I don't have access to PLA, I'm using ABS and brass bushings. Um, for this version, all I did was it's a little clip with a brass bushing glued in the middle of it, so it supplements or it replaces the actual brass bushing. But first thing you're going to do is you're going to slide your um, smooth rod in, your two 406 millimeter um, smooth rods in. Once they're in, you're going to, if you have brass bushings, you're going to go ahead and slide them on. Uh, if you have PLA bushings, you'll clip them on later, but because of the ones I used, I have to actually slide them on to begin with. Um, first thing you have to do is center this. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to use your caliper, and you're going to measure the distance. What I do, um, do is, because the PLA will get a little bumps on it, I actually measure from the inside of the washer to the inside of the washer. What part you measure from doesn't really matter. But, then zero your caliper, and you're going to measure from here to here. I've already centered this one, but from here to here on this one's 32 millimeters. Then you're going to measure over here. And this one's 32 millimeters also. You're going to want to try to make sure that this side is close to it. It doesn't have to be exact, but you want it to be approximately the same because you're going to parallel it off one side. So this one's 32. This one's 32. Then what you're going to do is take your board, which you know is 160 millimeters. You're going to put it between your two rods and you're going to tighten this one up to the board. This is actually a neat little trick Clement came up with. So you now know that's 160, so this is 160 and tight. So you're going to tighten down that side. Then this one's again. Don't be afraid to measure 15,000 times. So then we know this one is 104 millimeters. So now we space this side out till it is just as snug as the other side. So once you've done that, you now should have two parallel smooth rods. So now what you're going to do is you're going to glue this board to your four bushings. Don't really worry about the belt or the motor or anything at this point. You're going to do that in the next video and later in the step for this. So you can, um, most people use two-part epoxy. Um, you would prefer something that stays a little gooey just to make it stronger. So you don't want something that cures too hard. Two-part epoxy mixed up. Be sure with your two-part epoxy to mix it really well. Because if you don't, it will never dry. Okay. As with everything, double measure. 32.70. 32.70. And then 
the side is Seven O. Two seven nine. Make doubly sure that this the same tightness all the way around. This way. Now that we know that those are parallel, you take your two-part epoxy, put a dab on the top of each one of your bushings, Now, what you're going to do is you want this to be 10 millimeters off of the end of each side. Ten millimeters off the front and back. Just about that right there. close to the center of this as you can get it. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you want it as close as you can get it. To make sure that it cures well, you will take something heavy and weight it down the middle. This is the first part. Now we have to wait for this to dry, which will, for this type of epoxy, will take 5-10 minutes. So we'll pick up the rest of the steps later. Thank you.